Hey coach, welcome to teachhoops.com. Very excited you decided to join us. Uh, a couple things. First of all, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell up above. Um, you'll get new resources, but more important, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. It's the one-stop shop for basketball coaches. If you're looking for resources, if you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for just a little bit of everything, teachhoops.com is the answer for you. Have a great day. Hey everybody, it's Dave Strickland. What I want to talk to you about today are the two golden rules of substituting. Now, rule one says that a coach must know his players inside and out. He's got to know their strengths, their weaknesses, how they're going to respond in pressure situations. He has to completely understand what they can do against various defenses and against various types of defenders. Uh, both on an offensive and a defensive standpoint. He has to know everything there is to know about those players. If not, then substituting is just guesswork. It's just a crapshoot at best. Now, rule number two is just as easy to understand, but much harder to implement for a lot of coaches. And this rule says that all substitutions should only be made to improve your team's chances of winning the game. Now, what that means is you don't play people just to play them. There has to be a reason to put a substitute into the game. It doesn't matter if his mom's the president of your booster club. It doesn't matter if he's the hardest worker on your team. It doesn't matter if he hasn't played in the last couple games and, and you feel sorry for him and want to get him in. You only substitute if it improves your chances of winning the game. Now, last night the Houston Rockets played in Game 6 of the Western Conference Semifinals uh, against the LA Clippers and the LA Clippers had a 19 point lead with two minutes to go in the third quarter. Uh, the Rockets coach Kevin McHale substituted and James Harden came out of the game. Well the Rockets went on a run and started closing the gap and eventually won the game and came back from 19 to to win the game and force a game seven. James Harden never got back off the bench. Came off with two minutes to go in the third quarter, sat the entire fourth quarter, never got back in. And this was one of the most prolific scores in the game today and a, a definite NBA MVP candidate. But Kevin McHale was following rule number two. Unless he could help the chances of winning the game, there was no reason to put him back in. And the group that was in that game was playing well. They were in rhythm. They were on a roll. They were in sync. And obviously it was the right move because um, not only do they catch the Clippers, but they went on to win the game. Sometimes that's the, that's the hardest rule to implement. Even, even if it means keeping one of your best players on the bench, do not substitute unless it improves your chances of winning the game. And as long as everybody on your team and everybody in your program realizes that's how things work, and as long as you are consistent uh, in this approach from game to game and season to season, then everybody's going to know what to expect, and you're going to have a better team because of it. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. Second all, go check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you put banners and stuff in your gym and become a nationally ranked coach, win more games in less time. Teachhoops.com is a community that will allow you to do that. Go over and check it out and go check the next video out. Bye.